Giada De Laurentiis launched a trio of successful restaurants over the years, so why did they close down? Which ones are still open? Keep watching for a closer look at the Italian-American chef's dining empire. Though she might be best known for her TV series on the Food Network, Giada De Laurentiis is also well known for the restaurants she's founded based on her dishes. De Laurentiis promotes three restaurants on her website, Giada, Pronto by Giada, and GDL Italian. Of those three, Giada came first and opened its doors in Las Vegas's Cromwell Hotel. This Italian restaurant has both brunch and dinner menus that feature Italian dishes such as pasta, seafood, and fresh pastries, all with a Californian spin. I tried to pick iconic dishes that I knew people loved of mine. The eatery also serves a long list of cocktails, beers, wines, and other beverages to sip on while you enjoy your stay at the Cromwell. The Jada restaurant has been a huge hit among Las Vegas diners. It has a 4 out of 5 star rating on TripAdvisor, and on Yelp, there are many reviews praising the service and food at Jada, with many diners pledging to return to what they called one of the best restaurants in Vegas. Giada followed up the success of the Giada restaurant in Vegas with a second establishment, Pronto by Giada. Much like her first restaurant, Pronto serves Italian foods with a Californian take, except it has a much more casual tone, with a brunch, lunch, and dinner menu listed on the website. Here you can find salads, sandwiches, pizzas, and many other foods featuring Giada's take on Italian cuisine. Like Giada before it, Pronto by Giada is also located in Las Vegas, inside the Caesars Palace Hotel and Casino. De Laurentiis's third restaurant, GDL Italian was much like her other restaurants in the sense that it served her iconic Italian dishes with a slight tweak. According to her website, Giada aimed for a more family-friendly atmosphere with her third restaurant. It was also her first East Coast restaurant, located inside the Horseshoe Casino in Baltimore, Maryland. Like Giada before them, both Pronto by Giada and GDL Italian garnered positive reviews from diners on sites like Yelp and TripAdvisor, with visitors praising the quality of the food, the staff, and more. Despite the incredible success of her three restaurants, Giada De Laurentiis could not predict what was to come in 2020. Thanks to the pandemic that hit the globe, numerous restaurant industry staples suffered and many were forced to shut down entirely. In March of 2020, De Laurentiis released a post on all of her restaurant's Facebook pages, regretfully announcing that she would be shutting down all three of her eateries until further notice. Like many other restaurant owners at the time, De Laurentiis cited protecting the health of her staff and her diners as a key reason for the pause in service. The Post goes on to say that De Laurentiis felt that it was best for her and her restaurants to follow the guidelines set for the restaurant industry by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, while also offering hope that the restaurants could open again soon. Though fans of De Laurentiis were understandably upset, many also offered statements of support as she put her staff and her customers first in a difficult time. Sadly, though, March 2020 was just the beginning of the pandemic shutdowns that would continue to affect the restaurant industry for more than a year, and De Laurentiis and her restaurants would have more struggles ahead. Since March 2020, a lot has changed for the restaurant industry, and Giada De Laurentiis's three restaurants are no different in that regard. While she was able to reopen both Giada and Pronto by Giada in Las Vegas, as of this recording, Baltimore's GDL Italian is listed as being permanently closed down on Google. Strangely enough, a September 2020 post on the restaurant's Facebook page stated that it would be reopening with tables available on weekends. However, GDL Italian is also no longer listed as taking reservations on open table. While no official statement has been put out by De Laurentiis as of this recording, a September 2021 article on Baltimore news site SouthBmore.com listed GDL Italian as one of, quote, several restaurant vacancies at the Horseshoe Casino Baltimore. With this information, it's a safe bet to assume that GDL Italian will not be reopening, at least in its initial location. The reason that it shut down may be due to the financial struggles the restaurant industry faced in 2020 and 2021 because of the pandemic, which clearly impacted impacted all of De Laurentiis' restaurants. However, GDL Italian apparently fared the worst of the three eateries. Luckily, there's much more good news in regards to Giada De Laurentiis' other two restaurants. On October 28, 2020, De Laurentiis joyfully announced the reopening of the Giada restaurant in the Cromwell Hotel in Las Vegas. On Facebook, she shared a video post showing off the restaurant's dining room and some of the dishes available on the menu. 
De Laurentiis thanked everyone who made the reopening possible, thanking her staff, as well as the diners who were eager to return. By the summer of 2020, De Laurentiis was also able to reopen her Caesars Palace restaurant, Pronto by Giada. She posted a similar message on her restaurant's Facebook page, announcing the reopening, along with the safety measures the restaurant would be taking to ensure its staff and guest safety needs were met. De Laurentiis wrote, Your safety is our top priority, and we have put in place a number of changes to ensure your health and safety while enjoying a meal in our dining room and on the go. Both Jada at the Cromwell and Pronto by Jada at Caesars Palace initially reopened for service on weekends only. But since then, dining has picked back up in Vegas, and both restaurants are now open once again all week long. It's nice to see that, while her restaurants certainly faced some hardship, De Laurentiis was able to keep two of her popular establishments going. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Mashed videos about your favorite TV chefs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.